Hello guys, it's the 6th of June 2022. Today Boris Johnson is facing a no confidence vote where if he loses a vote in Parliament tonight amongst um, Conservative MPs, he will no longer be Prime Minister. I could not possibly have known that until today, which is the 6th of June 2022. Also, um, the last four days has been the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Okay, I could not have known the exact date that, that, that this would have happened back in 2020. Now, I have here some Pringles, which is nice, nice fusion. And it says Indian Tandoori Chicken Masala flavour. Okay, and if I look on the back, I have here the an expiry date of the 13th of the 5th, 20. So it's got a P date, that's when it was made, an expiry date, 13th of the 5th, 20. So this, this is over two years expired essentially crisps okay now these are pringles they're essentially crisps essentially they can take the top off but usually they last longer than crisps normally in terms of how long they'll keep fresh so i'm just going to show you again just in case you think i've cheated or switch the oh my up this very slowly so you can see I'm not cheating <laughs> now I'm gonna take one of the crisps out it still looks okay I've no idea if it's come to taste okay but it looks okay to me Very interesting, it's actually still edible. I'm quite surprised after two years that it isn't so absolutely disgusting. I've never tried this flavour before, and I'm actually astonished by it because this does still taste okay despite being two years out of date. And it does truly taste just like a chicken curry. So, and that just really, really surprised me just how much this tastes like a chicken curry. Um, absolutely astonishing, truthfully. Um, I'm so astonished, in fact, I want to see what the ingredients are. And another reason why I'm astonished is this is actually vegetarian. So, Even though it states tandoori chicken masala flavour, if I turn around here, you'll notice that there is a green tick and that green tick says vegetarian. I know it's difficult to see, but You'll just have to take my word for it, I'm afraid, but it does genuinely say vegetarian, honestly. It's quite small letters, so that's why it might be so obvious, okay? And that's actually amazing, because normally a lot of vegan food or vegetarian food that's designed to taste like meat doesn't, okay? But this does actually taste... Shockingly realistic, so yeah. I mean, it may have had more flavour before. I've no idea, I've never had this flavour before Pringles before, so I do not know. But and I put it down, I forgot about it to be honest. I never and I 
It's gone with it a while back and I thought this would make a great video and want it hit the two year mark. So um it's now past the two year mark of expiry, so no. Perfectly edible. Many people would look at this and just throw it away. But it's absolutely perfectly edible, tastes great. Honestly I'm surprised. Um and it also tastes much better than I thought it would. It's, it tastes quite spicy but it's not very hot. It does have an awful lot of flavour in it, which is truly shocking for me. Um, and I wouldn't have thought they could make a chicken curry type flavour. Now, this, but somehow they've done it. Will I have some of these again? Truthfully. If not, it was only because of money. If money didn't matter, definitely. I'm absolutely astonished. These taste really, really good, and I mean it. Right? I'm astonished. Mm. It says it's time new. I'm not sure if I've ever even seen these again, so I don't know. I don't know how popular these became, but I haven't looked for Pringles for a while, to be quite honest, because they're normally quite expensive, to be honest, from what they are. You know, I mean, you can get cheaper crisp, to be honest, and... Well, no, because... I'm sorry, so it says, Pringles Rice Fusion, Indian Tandoori Chicken Masala Flavour. And for those of you who don't know, um, chicken tikka masala at one stage was, I think, um, the most popular um, meal in Britain. And I'm not even joking, for those who don't know. I think there's some poll or something like that. I don't know exactly who did it, but it's um, a winner poll of the most popular meal in Britain. Beating fish and chips, beating, you know, Sunday roast, beating, you know... Christmas dinner or whatever, beating everything. Amazing but true, because Indian food is very popular in Britain amongst even white people, people who have no he Indian heritage of any kind, just what you call old-fashioned white people over here, but perhaps in their 40s, maybe, maybe even 50 slightly and below. It is very, very popular over here. Um, you'd be surprised. Um, in America, a lot of Americans have told me they like Mexican food a lot. Over here, a lot of people like Indian food, even if they're white, British, etc. But people who tend to be in their 60s and above generally probably don't like it. You know, they're like my mum who just I mean, likes traditional, old-fashioned English food and the idea of a curry makes her feel, you know, well, I think you should, it, it, I'm not, it, not literally, of course, but it makes you feel sick, but not literally, you know what I mean. Right, so, yep, and, um, I also have some statistics here as to how good the food is for you. I'm not going to read it all, to be completely honest. Um, it doesn't have the traffic light system, a lot of them do, which uh, have colours to tell you how good or bad it, they are in the categories this doesn't it's all in black and white um, there's a lot of ingredients here um, it's also protect, pr packaged in a protective atmosphere stored in a cool dry place um, oh interesting it says copyright Kellogg Europe so I had no idea that Pringles had anything to do with um, the Kellogg company. I had no idea that these, what we are in simple terms crisps, had anything to do with. Now, normally with most crisps, over here anyway, you buy usually a small packet or you buy a pack of six which have small packets in them and you get the whole packet immediately, usually, and then for them to pack it away with this. I give you like a lid so you can put the lid on and have some more another day and another day after that. I'm not sure whereas with other crisps if you like leave them out 
you know, they'll, they'll go soft. And there you say, well, that's a few more days, okay, once you've opened them, okay? There you go. Out of date, Pringles Rice Fusion, out of date, Pringles Rice Fusion Indian Tandoori Chicken Masala Flavour, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.